In Washington today, the U.S. House Judiciary Committee took up a controversial anti-piracy bill. Industry groups such as the Motion Picture Association and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce say it would help protect copyright laws. But critics warn the measure could allow censorship of the Internet and curb free speech, not just in the U.S., but across the globe. FSRN's Matt Laszlo reports on the debate from the Capitol. Guilds and unions representing musicians, filmmakers, and producers say their creations are being sold by counterfeiters across the globe, and they want it stopped. The Republican chair of the Judiciary Committee, Lamar Smith of Texas, says the U.S. Congress should step in and end Internet piracy. We cannot continue a system that allows criminals to disregard our laws and import counterfeit and pirated goods across our physical borders. Smith and a bipartisan group of lawmakers are pushing a bill called the Stop Online Piracy Act. It's supported by the Chamber of Commerce as well as drug companies. But opponents, including a bipartisan group of lawmakers, say the legislation is too broad and gives companies and the government too much power to shut down legitimate Internet operations. Smith only allowed one opponent of the bill to testify, so California Democratic Congressperson Zoe Lofgren shared with her colleagues a lengthy list of opponents. The letters are from the consumer union and other consumer groups, TechNet, Tech America, the American Library Association, the Competitive Enterprise Institute, Human Rights Watch. Supporters of the bill say it's just wealthy tech companies, such as Google and Facebook, that are lining up to oppose the bill. But Lofgren says that's not the whole picture. Uh, the big tech companies weren't the ones who said this bill would cause the U.S. to lose its position as a global leader in supporting a free and open Internet. That's from dozens of human rights groups around the world. Civil liberties groups worry the bill could stifle free speech by giving too much power to regulators to censor content they disagree with under the guise of protecting intellectual property. Catherine Oyama handles copyright legal issues for Google, which opposes the legislation. You know, I think short of the constitutionality, it certainly raises free speech concerns. The legislation allows the U.S. Attorney General to order search engines to block certain websites that it deems is breaking copyright laws. California Republican Congressperson Darrell Issa also opposes the bill. He says there's currently in place courts to deal with copyright laws that are sufficient to handle Internet cases, too. I object to this, this bill in its current form, mostly because I believe it fails to use tools that are generally better than the tools that we have at our disposal in this bill. Opponents also say the legislation will crush innovation by locking startups in litigation over intellectual property rights. Under the bill, any website that contains even a little bit of content that infringes on a copyright can be legally challenged and halted by the U.S. Attorney General, which could take years and tens of thousands of dollars to defend. Texas Democratic Congressperson Sheila Jackson Lee says the legislation could hurt the little guy. Uh, I am concerned about how this bill will, what effect it will have on small businesses, particularly those that couldn't afford to go to court should a rights holder come forward and demand that their access to revenue be shut off. If a rights holder ac accuses a small business website of being facilitating, of, excuse me, of facilitating infringement. But committee chair Smith says the legislation is all about protecting the intellectual property of creators in the U.S. This bill focuses not on technology, but on preventing those who engage in criminal behavior from reaching directly into the U.S. market to harm American consumers. Many Democrats also support the legislation because they say glaring abuses are taking place daily online. John Conyers is the highest-ranking Democrat on the Judiciary Committee. He says it's vital to protect the creation of innovators. And to those who say that, that a bill to stop online theft will break the Internet, I, I'd like to point out uh, that, that uh, it's uh, not likely to happen. But critics, such as Jackson Lee, say the legislation goes too far in the other direction. Uh, I think immediately what comes to mind is that this uh, legislation may be overly broad, um, that it uh, too easily circumvents uh, Internet users, uh, and um, it is inherently incompatible with the way Internet actually works. A similar bill is also winding through the Senate, and observers say both seem to have a lot of support in Congress. Matt Laszlo, FSRN, Washington.